Hey there, today I want to talk about Quest Nutrition Bars. I'm going to break this review up into two different videos because I first want to tell you about the product and then later I'll do another video to tell you what I think about the specific flavors. So Quest sent me a bunch of samples. They sent me one of every flavor of the bars that they have plus their protein peanut butter cups. So it's going to take me a little while to taste all of them and I'll let you know what I think after I get a chance to do that. But I wanted to talk today about the bars in general and why I think they're a good idea. Now Quest sent me all this stuff for free, but the opinions here are completely my own. I actually heard about Quest bars a year or two ago when I was doing some research for some clients who were looking for a healthy snack. And the goals of my clients were they wanted a good quality source of protein, they wanted low sugar and moderate to low carbs, and they also didn't want a lot of junk added. I recommend for people to stay away from soy protein based protein bars and also ones that have a really long ingredient list. So Quest met all of those requirements for me and for my clients. So I tried one out and I really liked it, so I recommended it to my clients and they all really liked them too. The consensus is that the most delicious way to eat a Quest bar is to unwrap it, put it in the microwave for 15 seconds, and then it kind of tastes like a warm cookie. So, but they're still good if you don't do that, if you're eating it on the run or in the car or at the office, somewhere you don't have a microwave. But there's three different products that they sent me. The first one is protein peanut butter cups. And if you know me, then you know that I really love to make peanut butter cups, but the ingredients I use are coconut oil, unprocessed cocoa, natural peanut butter, and stevia. So the version I make is not high protein. I like this one because it's got 20 grams of protein in it. And I'll be honest, I tried these already. I crumbled one up over plain Greek yogurt that I had sweetened with stevia, and it was really good. It's slightly drier than a regular peanut butter cup, but it's still really awesome. Okay, so then there's two types of bars. One says no sugar or sugar alcohols used. And this is sweetened with something called Lohan Guo. I'm not sure how to say that, but I think that's right. And that's a natural sweetener. And then sucralose, which is just the generic name for Splenda. So we could get into a discussion at a different time about Splenda. I know people have a lot of different opinions about it. The other version of the bar has no sugar added. And so this one's sweetened with erythritol, Lohan Guo, and Stevia. So if I were going to purchase Quest bars, I'll be honest with you, I would buy this version. I like erythritol as a sweetener. I don't have a lot of experience with Lohan Guo, but the reading I've done about it makes me feel pretty comfortable with it. And you know that I'm a little bit crazy about Stevia. So I'm excessively excited to try the chocolate chip cookie dough flavor. I can't wait to tell you what I think. But so that's the three different versions of products that they sent me. And there are many different flavors of the two different types of bars. So you can see why it'll take me a while to test all of those and let you know what I think about the individual flavors. So the bottom line is Quest Nutrition Bars, in my professional opinion, are a good way to go. They're minimally processed. They don't have very many ingredients. I counted the ingredients on the back of one of the bars. There was eight ingredients. So that's really not all that bad. If you look at a lot of the protein bars, they're full of ingredients that you can't pronounce. They've got a lot of soy in them, and they have way too many ingredients. I like these high in protein, low in sugar, relatively low in carbs, and so they're a good snack, also good for before a workout, maybe after, depending on the type of workout that you're doing. And like I said, the clients I have that have tried them, whether they were using it to complement their fitness routine or if it was just a healthy snack they were using throughout the day, they all had positive things to say about them. So on that note, I'll be back later, probably in a few weeks after I've tried all the flavors, and I'll let you know what I think about the rest of them. 
So if you have questions, please leave them in the comments and I can answer them in the next video. Have a great day.